Hi, this is just uh, a tutorial in how to make, um, uh, you know, like gold-plated text like what you're seeing at in the screen right now. So, okay, to start this tutorial, first what we're gonna do is, of course, we're going to use the text tool, and we'll type in "wow" with exclamation mark. I'll just size this up. And uh, now I'm going to choose a font. Okay, I'll just make it the same font as this one. Okay. Now the first thing we have to do here is to convert this one to curves. Okay, so right now it's editable. So if I type in another O here, it is editable. But once I make this uh, uh, curves or objects, you cannot change it. Uh, you cannot edit the font anymore. Okay, so what we're going to do is you go to Arrange, Convert to Curves. So as you, as you can see, these are objects now. You can't edit the text. Okay, so it's shapes and not text anymore. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the uh, the text. We'll just make it white. I'll just show you why we make it white so we can see the contours. You know, this is the contour. If you take a look at this one, that's the contour outline of the of the text that's what we're gonna do so if you go to your interactive contour tool okay that's this tool here okay and and here in the property bar it says here if I want to make it outside I have to click on this one so that's what I need outside right if you take a look at the final artwork here okay this contour is outside not inside the text okay so go back here I choose outside and then I'll click here this is the distance this is the steps like how many contour I only need one going outside and this is the uh, the uh, distance okay so I'll make it point three point three is fine for me now okay then what I have to do is I'm going to break this apart I'm gonna break the up uh, the text apart the letters and the outline so click on break contour group apart okay so as you can see those are two separate objects now so I'll create the first uh, fill first okay so you click on uh, the text okay and then go to your your fill tool and go to your gradient fountain fill dialog or f11 and then here in the preset Corel Draw has a preset for that gold plated uh, text. So you choose gold plated. Okay, as you can see, there's a preview here. So we don't want conical, we want something linear. Okay, but linear, we want it looking at the, uh, the example here. It has to be 90 degrees, so you change the angle to 90 degrees. Okay, that looks the same now, and then click OK. Okay, so I've done that one. Now the second part is the outline. So you click on the outline, okay, or the contour. You go to your fill tool again and click on fountain fill. So so that the same thing as you've done, and then you choose the same gradient fill, okay. Let's make it linear and then make this 90. But we have to make it different. We have to modify the gradient so that it would look like it's a uh, it's a uh, beveled so here if I double click on this line here okay I'm adding some uh, like swatches for colors so I'll just make it I'll add something okay so I'll add okay so once you click on the one triangle you would see it's black so it means say that's the one that's activated and then I'll just choose a darker shade say that one and I'll do the same as the last one and probably I'll put this not too dark and I'll put another one here gold and I'll just move this a little bit here so it's really up to you but the, the secret here is that the contour should have a a darker shade uh, a darker shade of uh, compared to the the original text fill and then I'll click OK there you go zoom out now the only thing we have to do here 
is to make a drop shadow okay so you click on the let's start with the contour first you click on the outline or the contour and then go to your interactive drop shadow click and then drag it going to the lower right corner okay okay and then I'll I can modify the drop shadow by clicking on the slider I'll just make it darker now it stands out a little bit now to really make it uh, realistic now now you click on the text itself and then put a little bit of drop shadow just a tiny drop shadow so that it would look like it's beveled so as you can see if I zoom out here that's what I get delete that and F4 there you go and I can put a background like a solid background and put this to back order to back of page and there you go metallic text